Chef Mickey's. The only time you'll be happy that there's a mouse in the kitchen. So we're going to be looking at each of the Disney restaurants and giving our honest in-depth reviews in this brand new series. We'll be telling you what we think of the cost, atmosphere, quality of food, character interactions and finally whether it's worth going. So let's go! Located at the Contemporary Resort, Chef Mickey's is a family-style buffet restaurant character dining experience. Guests are invited to join Mickey and Pals as they serve up a range of great American-style food. Breakfast starts from 7 till 11.15am, lunch is 11.30 till 2.30 and dinner is 5 till 9.30. Firstly Costs Disney classes this as a free dollar sign restaurant, so guests are expected to pay about $35 to $60 per adult per meal. Secondly is the theming. It's a bright and lively Mickey-styled room. It's on the Grand Canyon level of the Contemporary Resort, and it does feel grand. It feels like you're in the Grand Canyon, in a sense that it's really big and really open planned. And as you dine, if you're really into trains, or even if you're not, you can see the monorail going past. So that's, you know, I'm not really into trains, but that was a really nice touch. It doesn't feel like you're at a train station. It feels like you're looking at one of those old-timey monorails. Thirdly, there's the food. This is kind of like a higher quality buffet. It's not the best quality in the world, but it's not the worst. You know how you normally go to buffets and the food is kind of just a bit bad. They kind of sacrifice quality for quantity. You will not feel like that here. So what's on the menu? It's a host of steaks, meats, chicken, ribs, shrimps, fries, mini hot dogs, pasta, veggies, chicken nuggets, and loads of other different meats. They, like I say, we can't be exactly precise because they do change it on the menu, so it's very difficult, but just imagine buffet food, typical buffet food, but better quality. For dessert, there's a create your own Sunday bar fixed with toppings, caramel sauce, and chocolate sauce, which is so good, that's where I spent most of my time. Cookies, brownies, uh, jellies, and all that kind of other stuff that you would expect from a buffet. I mean, they don't really do anything different with the food or change it up a little bit. It's not really like themed towards anything other than classic American. But you know, if it's not broke, they're just taking something that was good and making it better. Putting like a Disney spin on things, which is nice. Next off is the character dining experience. So it's the Fab Five, so that's Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy and Donald, all in their chef's outfit, their chef's getup, which is just so cool. It's nice that they're not just in their normal gear, that they have got a special theming just for this restaurant, that you have to come here to see them in that. And the waiters as well, they come around and say, have you seen, who have you seen, who haven't you seen, who do you still need to see, which is really good because we were kind of worried at first, they were like, okay, well, we kind of have to wait here just in case Goofy comes over and we need to get a picture take with him, him to sign an autograph book. Um, and if like one time we did go up and we did miss them, the wait was like, okay, do you see them? Okay, let me just go get them. Even though he was on the other side of the room, he went and got him, like um, told him to come see us, and that was just a nice touch. So it never felt like that we were missing out. It never felt like it was all rushed. It was all a really nice, intimate setting. However, the one criticism I will have of this is that it's relatively easy to get the Fab Five's photos and autographs. I mean, if you're really trying to go for all of the characters, then you can get a fast pass to get all five of them. You can meet them in the parks. They're always in the parks. The only difference with this one is you definitely will get to see them and you don't have to wait. They'll come to you and that they are in their chef's outfits. Maybe it would be nice if they did have a different character in there, just a random one, maybe like a princess or something like, you know, like a cartoon, just a bit different. Something that you don't see all the time in the Magic Kingdom. Finally, our rating. Let me just quickly remind you of our rating. If you haven't already seen our Be A Guest restaurant, at the top is Do Every Time. Below that is Do Multiple Times. Below that, kind of in the middle of the average, is Do Once. Below that is Do If You're In The Area, but don't really make a big effort to go there. Or Do Not Do, which is the worst rating. And we're going to put this 
just above average in like the kind of good so do multiple times this is something that you want to do more than once because the food is good and you do get those interactions without having to wait so that is nice and I kind of felt like yeah I was getting my monies because I eat a lot of food and I felt like I ate I was I I felt like I had actually stuffed myself to the point that I was gonna be sick which is how you want to come out of a buffet you know to be honest that's how you want to feel from a buffet well that's how I want to feel from a buffet if you want to feel like that as well then please tell me below and comment as well what restaurant do you want us to do next you tell me if you haven't already subscribe to planet mark and make sure you hit that bell notification as we'll be doing like this is a big series of all the, the restaurants at Disney World and you do not want to miss a single one Make sure you like this video and share it around. Join us on Twitter at PlanetMarkVlog, Facebook.com forward slash PlanetMarkVlog, or some more foodie fun on Instagram at Laura Goodbrand. See you in the next one, guys. Bye, 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 bye.